Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got a question here on the email from uh, Tanvir Asan. I hope I'm saying that right. Tanvir's writing in and he says, Hi Matt, I'm a big fan of your videos and I think uh, you provide immense support for everyone around the globe. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, first, let me state that I live in Bangladesh. Compared to the earnings, camera equipment are quite expensive here. Therefore, I have to make every cent count. Currently, I use a Nikon D3300 and a 35mm f1.8 and only use my cameras for travel and family photos. I don't intend to ever work as a professional photographer. Currently, I'm looking for a second lens. For financial restriction, I'm unable to buy one lens for portrait and one lens for macro. Therefore, I'm looking for a lens that can do both. Money is an issue, so the cheaper the better. Please advise as to which lens will be ideal for my needs. My thought on here immediately would be to go to the Nikon uh, 105 f2.8 macro. It's a great macro, but it also is a beautiful, especially you get quite a range there. I mean, you're at uh, what, uh, 105 times 1.5, you're somewhere around 150 or something um, for portraits. So if you don't feel that's too long, then I think you could certainly go with that lens and the f2.8 will give you a nice, you know, it's not super fast, but it's, you know, pretty decent for blown out backgrounds, especially with the compression you're going to get at that focal length. So great lens, great lens for macro in the sense that it's not like some of the shorter lenses for me for macro are a little too close. So that's going to give you the distance you're going to need for macro, and it's a very good lens. It's also going to give you a decent portrait lens. I know a lot of people actually use that lens for portraits. So that's what I would do. Uh, the other option you could look at is the Nikon 85mm f3.5 VR macro. So that is a DX lens. It's a fair bit less inexpensive than the, um, the 105. I'll put a uh, link below. You're losing a little bit on speed, but it's not really as much as you might think, especially at 85mm uh, with a 1.5 crop factor on there. You're looking at equivalent somewhere in, what, 130, 135, something like that off the top of my head. Um, so 3.5 is still going to get you decent background separation. Plus, you're on the longer end, so you've got some compression happening there, which is nice. And it's a good performing macro lens. It's less expensive. It's designed for DX, so it's less expensive. It doesn't cost as much to make. Doesn't doesn't mean it doesn't perform as well. The only real difference I would say for image quality, probably mostly, is speed. You may be you may get a, a little bit more image quality out of the 105. Most likely, it's mostly speed because it's f3.5 and it's less expensive to build a DX lens than it is an FX lens. So those would be your two options. Um, if price is really an issue, I would go with the 85. Or if you prefer that that focal length, then I would go with the 85. Uh, my go-to probably would be the 105. I actually have an older manual focus 105 here that was my dad's. I think I've kind of inherited it. Anyways, um, both great lenses. There are other options out there um, from Sigma, from Tamron, but I would stick with one of these two Nikons. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Um, one of the two Nikons, 85 or the 105? And then which one would you go with? I'm more of a 105 guy. Would you be more of an 85? Let me know in the comments below. Let's help him out. Let's help him flush this out on what he should buy and let us know what you would do and why. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you for your question and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.